Hey everybody, this is just a quick video on editing. Really some basic stuff um, related to, you know, let's say you have some, like a points file that came off of a GPS. Uh, this video will show you how to create lines and polygons and uh, edit those features. So the first thing you need to do um, once you have a point layer open is to, you can either uh, use the toolbox to create you know, a, a polyline or polygon from the points or um, we're going to show you how to manually uh, digitize that on the screen. First you need to go into your catalog from up here and figure out where you want this. Create either a new file geodatabase or a shapefile. We will do a shapefile in this case and we're going to make a polyline. We're going to call it line demo. You can also set the, the coordinate system if you want. In this case, uh, we are working in UTMs here in Minnesota. We're zone 15. Hit OK. And it's going to automatically add that line to our project. You can change the symbology right off the bat if you want. And let's say we want it to be blue and thick enough to see. All right, you'll notice I do have a base map on there of, of imagery. And to do that, I actually just went and uh, added data. Instead of adding data, I added a base map. So this is just from the standard uh, imagery and base maps provided from Esri. So I added the imagery. Um, to do this, you have to be logged in with your RTIS online account. So again, you go add base map. I picked imagery and then it added it and it'll show up at different uh, scales and resolutions uh, or different resolution based on your scale and also kind of where you are and what data is available. So back to our line, we're gonna right click and edit feature. And we have this edit toolbar up here we're going to create features. Click on the one you want, and that's line demo. And uh, the first thing we need to do, if we want to kind of have an accurate line from point to point, is make sure our snapping is set right. And to do that, we can go to options and uh, kind of play around with. You want to make sure that this classic snapping is enabled. So again, that's Editor, Options, and then General, and then Use Classic Snapping. And then, under the Snapping option, there's a Snapping window. And because it's a, you're snapping to a point layer, um, you know, a vertex is, is just kind of what you want to use versus uh, if you're snapping to edges of lines or ends of lines, then you could use these other ones. So we will, for the, we'll, we'll select Vertex. And now it'll snap right to those lines as we go along. Just no click would not be done. And we have one line created. We can stop and save our edits. One thing you might want to do is your new field is your new layer is not going to have much attributes. We can add a field, call it uh, length and maybe feet. Make it uh, double because that's a numeric field. And we can calculate the geometry of that new field. And we want it in feet. So you're creating a, uh, a field and then calculating the length of that line in feet. And so right now that line is 195 feet long. So let's say we want to do a polygon. We'll go back to catalog, new shape file, polygon demo, polygon is the type. Again, um, I think it's helpful to set the projection from the beginning. That way when you go to calculate 
the geometry and, and different things. It's already in there and set up. Okay, it's going to add that polygon to our project. There's nothing in it, so we need to edit, start editing. Now, since they're both saved in the same place, we can click either one. So we want to make sure we click polygon. And uh, it's already set up to snap. So you can just click your way along the line. Oh, missed one there. Okay, so you'll notice we, we were off on one of these. Turn the base map off so I can see it. Under the editing window, there's a few things you can do. You can reshape it, you can edit vertices. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Edit vertices, you can just click on the vertice and then get it to where you want. And uh, another thing that you could do is let's say you were just tracing using the aerial photo, you want to trace the boundary of like a road. Uh, then you could use this reshape features tool. Sometimes this imagery when it pulls off of the internet can be a little bit slow. I will turn it off for the sake of time. But you can reshape. You need to select and then reshape. You need to start kind of on the outside and then cut to the inside. So that'll adjust your um, polygon accordingly. Another thing that you can do is cut. So if you want to cut this in half, maybe there's a road crossing in the middle and you want to have two separate polygons. Again, you start on the outside. You can actually click on the, on the points if you want to snap it exactly. And then double click on the outside and it'll make two separate polygons for you. So when you stop editing, and open your attribute table, you'll have two, uh, you know, two individual polygons for that feature. Again, we can add a field. Now, because this is a polygon, we're probably going to want area. We can calculate the geometry. Let's say we want uh, acres. And there we go. So that's just kind of a basic 101 on adding line and polygon fields or features, editing them, and calculating the geometry of those features. Thanks for watching.